good day, everyone. Thanks for joining me for our fourth episode of Subnautica. Follow, uh, following our lesson opportune third episode, we made some decent comeback today. We finally got our hands on a seam off, thank God, and we got things going again in general. Uh, uh, so I uh, hope you enjoy what I have for you today, and I'll see you next week with our next episode and maybe some other content. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to our uh, fourth ep- fluid oh, uh, to our fourth episode of Subnautica. Um, as you remember, uh, last week we uh, ended with a little bit of a uh, oh, it was not a little bit, but quite a bit of complication. Um, we uh, we did some decent progress at first, you know. We uh, got the job. We uh, got a lot of our, whoa. Wait, was that fish that just, did it just go through the floor? Oh, no, it's there. <laughs> anyway, um, we, uh, did some, we made some pretty good progress at first. We got our hands on a mobile vehicle bay and a few other things, which, uh, meant we were almost on the cusp of getting a seam off, but I began trying to find the same wreck. I found the, um, what you call it, the, uh, mobile vehicle bay fragments in, and I just could not find it, so that pretty much took up like half the episode. And my inability to, to uh, find it expediently, <laughs> that uh, that just led to, uh, to me having to call it quits with the episode, because it only uh, handles so much embarrassment. <laughs> but, um, we are uh, back with our... Oh! Wait, hold on, let me, uh, do we have a bet? No, we don't. Shoot. Oh, yeah, I remember mentioning that last episode, too, but we have a lot to uh, focus on this episode. What? What's happening? What is this? We all noticed that, right? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, this episode, what we're going to try to focus on is getting back on track. Uh, first and foremost, as you can see, I'm doing now. I'm gonna try and bring my uh, nourish, uh, nourish myself, bring that all, bring my uh, levels back up. And then after that, we're gonna wanna figure out what to do with the Seamoth, because that pretty much is the uh, key to everything, getting our hands on such a efficient and um, decent means of uh, transportation, so I'm not sure. Um, I did go through the. Uh, the recording like I said I would last week uh, last episode and uh, see if there's actually uh, see where the um where that uh, wreck was and what I also uh, figured out in the meantime was well if there was no so uh, seam off fragments there I looked through there was about three shots in which I had the whole thing lit up and there was nothing so that uh, dream is uh, not a it's not a dream. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it means we're going to have to find somewhere else to go. And really what I think our best option is, is to go out to the uh, shallows, or is that what it, no, it's not the shallows, it's the grassy plateaus, and just go searching all around for skirt scouring and see tour for anything and for anything we can find and hope that we find a uh, seamoth fragment. So whenever it is uh, daytime, we will go ahead and do that. But in the meantime, we just have to uh, wait out the night. Well, hello everyone. Uh, it, oh, okay. Well, um, we are uh, back at daytime uh, just, just a few moments ago, and while uh, doing my rounds, I guess, on the water, I uh, discovered this. I'm pretty sure we probably came across it before, but I also found this, which is. It's one of those doors which we have to, um... Oh! Whoa! Alright, that's where the noise comes from. Anyway, I think it's one of those doors you have to, uh, meld through? I I'm not sure if it naturally, uh, spawns disconnected from holes like this, but... If... If so, then it isn't anything special. If it is, we just came across a pretty, uh... Well, weird, uh, glitch. But, um... What I'm looking for now is just a single outcrop of copper to create a battery to, uh, you know, repower my, um, 
sea glide because once we're able to do that we can go searching across the wide wide blue <laughs> uh, in search of something you know uh, or in search of you know something that might be uh, a sea moth fragment I don't see anything though and that's kind of weird considering these uh, sandstone outcrops are among the most common in the game like I don't know that should be enough it's not a hundred percent but it's just enough to go back down and look for some uh, outcrops oh there we go we ah come on is there anything else i see quartz that'd be nice to have please 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 okay quartz but that's i don't need it it's a quartz jeez it's, it's almost like a breadcrumb trail of a uh, quartz <laughs> leading through this cave but 30 seconds yeah yeah come on Oof, man. I think I'll go back in this direction. Oh, and we're gonna avoid those guys additionally. Is it nighttime already? It was literally just daytime. Uh, no, I, I don't think it is. I think I'm just maybe getting deep. I think that's it. But, jeez, I wonder where the hell this, um, copper is. Uh, best thing I can think is probably closer to the, um, life pod where all the materials spawn just to I guess make it easier and more comfortable if you get what I mean but I don't know we really haven't done that much resource collecting I think so I think there'd be I would assume there'd be a lot more available oh my gosh I think I'm just gonna have to cut back I guess because I do not want to waste your time trying to find all this stuff I mean it's just one thing what the heck could it be? Oh, okay, maybe. Oh, okay, yep. <sighs> Come on. I don't need this. Look at all the titanium and stuff. Whoa. What in God's good name is that? Do I get hurt if I go down there? Oh my God. That is weird. Oh, okay, it's happening again. I'm gonna get out of the way just in case something happens <laughs> all right i i'm just gonna cut back whenever we find a, a sandstone outcrop when that sandstone outcrop actually is copper and i got the sea glide powered again so i'll see you all then and hopefully it's still daytime and we'll be able to go uh do the exploration we need to do all right everyone uh that didn't take much longer but i finally have the sea glide now it's we are back to power Whoosh, there we go. Oh, let me turn that off, conserve as much power as we can. And uh, we are pretty much now back in business. But before we uh, head off to, uh, what direction is it? It's over there. Uh, while I was uh, searching for the copper, we came across, I found a, uh, an egg. Let's see, oh. Uh, we came, ac I came across an egg, and uh, it, there's something popped up in my data bank, so why not take a moment to read it? Um. So, evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all, of the local species reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the sea floor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged in cracks in the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild and some form in natural spaces, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It is impossible to calculate the species from the exterior, however, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable... Ah, oh, interesting. I guess that's a hint to us that that is a, a, a choice we have. But, uh, we don't have a living space yet, so we are just going to look for a uh, sea moth in the meantime. Um, I may not skip uh, this uh, journey to the uh, grassy plateaus because we may come across something interesting on the way, but yeah, that sounds good enough. I, I won't cut. We might uh, run into a stalker and have an interesting uh, encounter, so you know, I wouldn't want to miss that. So we'll just, uh, I'll just stick with you guys and we'll keep our eyes peeled to the bottom just in case we see a rack look. Anything interesting, do we? No, I do not believe we do. Um, 30 seconds. Oh gosh. Oxygen runs out faster than, uh... 
Uh, some example I can't think of at the moment. But, uh, okay. There you go. 75 seconds of oxygen back. Let's make the most of it. And search for something. Um, is there these shale? Yeah. Oh, no. Sandstone. Oh! Gold! Wait. If sandstone can give gold, then... Is, is that just like a, uh... Oh! Is that like a, just a, a, an error? Or... Er, or is, or has the material I've been uh Oh yeah it is. I yeah I had it wrong. It's the uh limestone deposits that contain the more common stuff. And it's the um what you call it? It's not, uh, and it's the sandstone ones that contain gold and silver and stuff like that. Yeah, I've been in there the whole time. Huh. So this is another kelp forest. Oh uh oh. Whoa, that was a big lag spike. I don't want that to happen more often, because that's uh, not good news, but um, mobile fuel could be faster. Well, we don't need that, but it's nice to know that it was there. <laughs> um, let's see, uh, the grassy toads is usually on the end of, uh, spooky territory, so, hmm, yeah, you can just tell by how far we're getting in, even in relation to the, uh, aurora, which is usually pretty big on the horizon, but, um, oh well, it's, we should be alright, uh, oof, man, it's probably good, yep, meters. that is, uh, CDC a biome for the, oh, alright people, if you're watching, uh, pray, uh, pray, uh, through the space-time continuum for me, cause this is gonna be a very lucky find if it has something of use for us, what is this? No salvage. Ooh. Thirty seconds. What was that? All right, come on, come on, come on. Please have something. Is this anything? No. Um. Is this something? No. Is this something? No. Oxygen. All right, take a moment to surf. Oh man. Uh oh. Am I gonna make it? Two seconds. Oh, right. I mean, I'm gonna make it. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, okay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna wanna be quick, but it is very good that we found this. Because, oh, God willing, it will have something, and I hope it has anything. Yes, alright, come on. Have something, come on. What is this? It's nothing. Yes, come on. Open up. <laughs> oh no, come on. Oh, damn it. What is this? Hey, get... Damn it! I need to leave the cutter for anything. 30 seconds. Battery charge. Oh, well, that, that might actually be useful. Quite useful indeed. Um, is there anything? No, wait, laser cutter. Oxygen. Okay, alright, let's get out of here. Oh man, it's off. You know, I always thought that keeping like a quarter, uh, 10 seconds left would be good enough, but my god, look at this. It is not enough. I might have to begin uh, spending even less time down deep. I don't know. See, this is why it's important to get the sea moth because I, I I went over this last episode, but um, it it, it, it oh that's yes. Yeah, bring that up. Is this something? No. Crap! I I can't even get anything until I get a laser cutter, don't I? my hands on the laser cutter is like the most impossible thing at the moment. Because, um, what you call it? Uh, 30 seconds. It's, it's the only places where there are shale outcrops, which I, I, I know is uh, what you need for this stuff. Ah, it's nowhere near here. You have to go like halfway across the map, I think. Unless we begin going deeper than we can, risking, um, oxygen. you know, yeah, oxygen. Which we might just have to do. Um, we'll figure that out. Let's see where. I'm... Oh man. Yeah. Let's see. What do we need for a laser cutter? Two diamonds. Case. Hmm. Two diamonds. That is really all that's difficult part. Oh god. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. I don't know what it was. It must have been the um, the, the 
groan for this thing mixed with uh, the sound of me coming back underwater because. Jeez. What's that? Oh. Alright, um. We gotta. We gotta go a hundred me. Whoa! Well, that's. Lead. Oh. Interesting. It's a big old hunk of lead. Alright. So we're gonna need to begin looking for. If we want to be very stingy and, um, stingy about this, we're going to want to go very, very deep. Alright, this might be good. We're going to go start going quite deep, looking for a shell. Oh, this is not a good idea psychologically. <laughs> but the deeper we go, if we're able to, uh, survive. Oh god, what is that? Oh, okay, it's that, it's that, uh, it's not gonna be a good idea. Uh, uh, my body's already getting all tingly and everything, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna, we are very far from our life talks, so I'm just gonna head back in that direction, just get a little bit closer to familiar territory. And, oh god, dear lord. I'm going to start getting very quiet because I'm not going to be able to uh, focus on giving commentary when we first get. Oh, shut up. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, oh, here we go. This. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, okay. Get the knife out. Oh, <gasps> yes. Look. All right. We just got to be very careful about this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. But knowing our luck, my luck. It's going to require even, uh, it's going to require resources just as com just as complicated. Just as complicated as the laser cutter, perhaps even more complicated. Uh-oh. Right, I will be fine here. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I'm not even going to focus. I'll come back here. It's, uh, what? It's 568, uh, about 560 meters in this direction. That's good enough. So we'll just head back home and then we'll focus on the seam off which I'm s man what a what a gr miracle. Uh, it's probably that's probably an overstatement but what, what a just how great it is to finally get onto that especially after spending half an episode aimlessly and just childishly looking for it but that's awesome. Uh, we'll get back to the light pod we'll look into what it needs and that's what we'll focus on doing tomorrow. Hey. All right everyone we've made it back to the life pod. Um, still night out, it, nothing changed, and let's get right down to it. Let's figure out what exactly we're going to need for this sea moss, which will finally, okay, we'll finally be able to create. I almost don't want to put my cursor over, like, I'm so happy that I don't want to ruin my, uh, glee by figuring out we're going to need, like, five diamonds, but, eh, we'll... oh, wait, yeah, let me just, uh, delay a little bit further by, uh, t uh taking the time to drink some water. Although I don't think we have, no, we don't have, a. Uh, will just eat then. But yeah, I'll just, uh, stall, stall a little bit by, a by, a digressing to having to eat. <laughs> right after that, oh man. So, like, do you, can you overeat? I guess not. But whatever. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, wow. We can, we can make that right now. We can literally make that right now. We have lead, we have uh, the material for grass, we just went collecting all that quartz, as you remember. We totally have enough titanium to make one ingot. It's about uh, 10 titanium to one ingot, so perfect. Uh, power cell, I think that's two batteries. We can easily make that. I think we got some copper. Alright, but uh, let me write this all down. I did that with the mobile vehicle bay. I'll have... No, maybe I don't. Um, titanium ingot. Let's just do it one at a time. Titanium ingot requires... Plasteel. Okay, I I unlocked plasteel as a uh, material, but I don't recall when that comes in uh, comes into uh, you know relevance. But uh, whatever. Um, let's amass our uh, titanium. We have one, two, three, four. So we're probably going to need to find two pieces of metal salvage. We have one, two, three quartz. We're going to need. Whoop! Sorry about that. I keep uh, doing the wrong key combination every now and then, but. Let's see, so two, pe two pieces of glass, which means a 
Okay, we're going to need one more piece of quartz. I'm pretty sure I remember where the uh, cave we we got the. Uh... All right, yeah, we'll put that in there. Pretty sure I remember where the cave we got the uh, quartz from in the first place was. So we'll just go back there. Uh, so we got titanium. We got that done. Lubricant. I'm pretty sure that's what I said, right? Yeah, lubricant. Uh, that requires wheat mine seed cluster. I don't have that, but that should be extremely easy to get. And, um, okay, now it's not baked on yet, so. Yeah, let me see what else I can make right now. I'll make it, and... Lead, alright, we got that. Yep, one lead. So, let's do this again. Let's go over, let's go over this one more time. Uh, Luber, uh, lead is the only thing we have completely uh we kind of have glass but and so what this means is that we're going to need to get our hands on we're going to have to focus tomorrow uh in game i mean you know obviously on getting titanium pre-vine seed cluster and materials for battery so we'll uh we'll skip to that right now all right hello everyone and uh it is uh getting towards daytime now and i am starting off at the crack of dawn uh, looking for uh, creep mine seed cluster as that is that is uh, the closest uh, uh, ooh, ooh, pretty. Um, as that is the closest uh, material we need to the life pond so we'll just quickly skim around here hoping that we don't run into any uh, what should we call it you know <laughs> stalkers and we're gonna hightail our way back to life pod create ourselves lubricant oh and maybe find a uh, bladder fish or two along the way so we can uh, not die of hydration since apparently that's a thing. <laughs> uh, let's see one more. Oh, wait. That's probably a secret. Yeah, that's a secret lab. Oh, and that'll so that helps us out with our uh, titanium needs. So we just surf as like a dolphin. Uh, hopefully might come across. Oh. Come across one more bladder fish, maybe not. Um, I don't see anything on my screen because I don't want to like. Uh... No, okay. the, that one, uh, that one uh, bladder fish would be enough. So, first off, bladder fish, uh, water. Oh, see. Second off. Stabilizing. Titanium. Third off. Lubricant. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I... Okay, no. It glided there for a moment, so I was uh, fearing that I might have uh, clicked twice and wasted the uh, extra cluster, but nope. So let's see. We now have... One, two, three, four. Okay, we need two more. That should be easy to uh, extract. Let's just take out this egg to make room. Uh, two batteries. Do we need them charged? Because if not, we might be able to make our power. So yep. All we need is silicone rubber, which is which is uh why it's very good news that we didn't uh use accidentally use up that uh C cluster. And so boom, we got our power cell. Whoa, that is huge. All right, let's see. So we have power cell. Extra silicone rubber, power cell, lubricant, which means that we need just our two more pieces of uh, titanium and two more pieces of uh, uh, what's it called? Quartz, quartz. So that those should both be easy to find because we just oh, and there's another uh, platter. Oh, oh, that's good. We got two of what we need. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, quartz cave system that I found was over here. Uh, we might find something. Oh, was this was this it? I don't know. It was something. It was near here. It was somewhere. I don't know. But we'll find it, and we'll get one more piece of quartz, and we'll be done. We, we, we will have everything we need. It was just that easy. It's almost insulting. Like we we spent a little cave so far. I just remembered. Copper. Oh, I oh there you go. I, uh, I think we need one more titanium, don't we? Oh, whoa, what's this? 
the hell is that? What's this? What's that? What the hell? Slight stick. Well, I do not need that in the slightest, but okay. Oh, uh, brain thing. That should make it easier to uh, get our oxygen back. Okay, so. Titanium. That is all we need. Come on. Okay. That is all we're gonna need. And it, that should come on. That has to be easy to find. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, good. Now we can head on back. We have everything. Although, is that right? Because I think I just remembered. No, we don't need cave sulfur. What was that for? I, I remember seeing cave sulfur. Oh, it was for the, um, laser cutter. Alright. But yeah, now we have absolutely everything. And we can head on our way back. And once we, uh, put everything together, we will have our sea moth. Alrighty. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just make our word in the meantime. Drink that, cause, uh, drink that right now, cause why not? Oh, several blades. Cool. Okay, but, um, now it's time to get down. Wait, wait, what, what? Oh, okay. I just didn't have the titanium on me. I was wondering why I wasn't, uh, didn't have the ability to make an ingot. But, whatever. Alright, here we go. We have our ingot now. Awesome. We have... What? Alright, we just need to make our... just need to take out our... Was it lubricant? No, a uh, piece of lead and our uh, quartz. We make our glass. And then we're done. Watch this. Boom. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, did I put the glass away? Yeah, I put the glass away. Alright, now we're going to look. And now it's all going to be done. Ah, oh, a beautiful scene. Ah, oh, having all the ingredients. That is just awesome. Whew, man. Awesome. Now, where's our moment? There it is. There's no time to lose. Just get to it. <laughs> awesome. Ah. Oh. Three. Two, one. Yep. The sea moth is a fast, safe <laughs> mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> uh, it's good for your glutes. Yeah. Thanks for that. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Let me get a screenshot. How do I take a screenshot? I just want to take a uh, a screenshot of this because this could be our this will be a thumbnail like. It's a beautiful scene. Um, come on, what is it? Take picture. F11. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh. Welcome aboard, Captain. Awesome. Wow. All right. Wow. I guess I'm speechless. I'm just so happy. We finally have this. About two and a half hours of gameplay for three and a half episodes, technically. Finally here. Awesome. Alright, so, next thing we're going to do is, um... Well, go back over there, because I remember, I wanted to uh, see what was what in the rest of that, uh... In the rest of the, um... The wreck, we got the, uh... Sea, we found the Seamoth fragments near, so... Do that now. I'll cut back to that once I'm there. Alright everyone, so I'm back and uh, uh, once again I sort of uh, overestimated my um, memory capacity and so I wasn't really able to uh, relocate that uh, wreck, uh, which I guess would just become a, a commonplace known uh, of mine. So all we have, so the next thing on our, uh, the next high priority thing that we have to do is to catch up on our um, radio, on our radios. and. Which I'm pretty sure means that we are going to start the next part of the storyline, which, since we now have a Seamoth, we, uh, have every ability to, uh, to, uh, see through properly. So, no further ado, let's just get this started with. Huh? This is Officer Whoa. Keenan, Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have well, assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Hmm. 
Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin cord. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm. All right. Ah, so is that it? Oh, so well, I remember um when we uh when we got the uh, last message or how do I, how should I put it properly? Um. Yeah, when we first got this message, when I first noticed it last episode, I uh, was just going to put it off. But then I saw it uh, I saw it come up again, so I thought, oh, well, I mean, you know, the symbol that you have a radio message, and I was like, oh, so I got another one. But I guess that's just the uh, the uh, the game impatiently telling you, hey, uh, did you forget about this? So I guess we've actually put off the uh, next part of the... Um, Storyline, which I guess we'll start next episode. In the meantime, since I don't think we really have, uh, we've, uh, done that much or, uh, have used up that much time, I think we might be at the half hour mark. I'm pretty sure we can easily spend the time, uh, what remaining time we have a few minutes heading over to this, uh, Officer Keen, was it? Well, where is it? Uh, yeah, Officer Keen. So, ooh, that's a little bit deep. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we could do that. It'll be alright. So, uh, go ahead and do that, and I'll see you all once we, uh, get near it, get near this, uh, life pod. Alright, guys, so we're, uh, coming up, uh, decently close to the location that, uh, this, like, pod. Um. Uh. Yeah, safe to say I'm not going in that direction. <laughs> no, that's that's that no, that's no. That is not that is not my uh no. That's for a not just another time, but that's for a whole other person in general. <laughs> oh my god. It is so dark over the that even if that guy like if his light pod didn't break or anything, he, he's dead. He, he died of something that I am not ready to deal with. Like, oh my gosh. That is... No, I... I you know, yeah, that... I'll come to him, like, when I have, like, an, an army of... Of mechanical droids and... <laughs> a submarine. I am not going there in a little seam off. I am not going in the abyssal zone alone. Uh... Wow. I mean, it gets dark in this game in broad daylight of 20 meters below surface, so I can just imagine what 300 meters below surface in a, in a pitch black, uh, totally just low, deep area. Like, that's, that's not. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I guess that means we have, uh, we've done all we can for today. Um, we've, uh, Gotten our seam off, we've uh, gotten back on track, and I guess next episode we'll get our, uh, our, uh, next, uh, radio, ooh, hey now, we'll get our, we'll get our next, uh, message from the, uh, Sunbeam, and start that, uh, part of the plot, and so, uh, in the meantime, I have, uh, nothing else to do, then thank you all for, uh, again, joining me for this, uh, fourth and much better episode of Subnautica, and, uh, can I catch this guy? Oh, no, let me see. No, no, okay. And I thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you, uh, let's see, Tuesday? Monday, uh, I'll see you Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So, it's Thursday. Uh, I mean, not, it's, man. How embarrassed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you all Thursday. Ended at that. Thank you all for joining me. Goodbye.